Uh, first, I would like to give a huge shout out to our fans, our students. Uh, I thought they showed up, made themselves known that they were truly our sixth man. And um, that truly makes a difference. Um, <clears throat> I think um, Georgia Southern has a phenomenal team, uh, especially the way they handled us down in Statesboro. We, we thought it was a it was going to be a good, um, I guess, come back or get back to have them come up in our place and, and be as focused and uh, mentally determined to get us a win by any means necessary. And so <clears throat> we're going to keep putting one foot in front of the other. We're going to continue to enjoy this ride uh, and, and, and enjoy the process of becoming a team we're capable of becoming. Enjoying the process of becoming the program. I know this program is capable of becoming. And um, we're going to keep our head down and keep staying working. The two defensive stands at the end, the, the force the 30 seconds, and then I think Brendan drew the offensive ball. How big were those? The they were both game-changing plays. When you're talking about the gut of the game, the moment of truth. <clears throat> and, and so at the top of John Wooden's pyramid of success, uh, he has competitive greatness. In his later years, he would say love if he had a chance to do the pyramid of success over. Uh, but competitive greatness is simply de defined as being at your best when your best is needed. And when you're talking about the gut of the game, how guys had the mental uh, attention uh, and awareness and alertness that we need to come up with a stop, that's what we call competitive greatness. And so we, if we can recreate that time and time again, first you got to recognize the moment. Uh, but then step up for that moment. You, you, you know what? You got some something to build on. Well, Jermaine had the kind of block at the end of that sequence on the thirty-second violation. What was going on after? Uh, really, I was honestly we was playing a really good defense, so I kind of just played our principles and stayed in our gaps. So he picked <coughs> the ball up. So when he picked the ball up, um, I seen um, twelve had an easy shot, and I knew he was going to shoot it because the shot clock was going down. So I just contested and make sure I got the way so I won't foul him. I just got the block. Just like Coach said, uh, we always put on the whiteboard uh, before we got in the game, game changing plays. And I really wanted to win. I'm a winner. So I'm going to do anything that's possible to allow us to win. Coach, you talked about poise a lot in here. In that second half, they kept throwing punches, and it seemed like every time they cut it close, you guys had an answer. Yeah, and so that, that has been a uh, concerted effort of ours to play with poise. I don't mind <clears throat> a group of men playing with emotion. All right, let's not get emotional. All right, if you if you eliminate being emotional and play with smart emotion, I think you'll have an opportunity to weather any storm. <clears throat> and I thought we did that a great deal today. This is for Jermaine and Brenda. You guys are first year players in the program, but you quickly found out what it means Georgia State and Georgia Southern, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I found that out quickly, quick. especially when we was in uh, Statesboro. Yeah, yeah, real quick. We knew we had to get our get back with them. So. Yeah. Came out tonight and we finished. Executed, really. Big rivalry. You guys, I'm sorry. You go. Ahead. You guys need this win after yeah. the last four games on the road, especially coming against yeah. the, the biggest rivalry. Yeah, we really did need this win. Uh, we're not going to really darn on the pass right now. We're going to just try to build on this win and move forward and just keep progressing. It's only the beginning. It's really only the beginning, like Coach said. Um, it's the start of basically really a new season for us. Uh, Start of February, the first game of February. So we just uh, got to continue to do what we do. Mm -hmm. The first game of the rest of our season. So we look at it right now. What is it, you know, as you're prepping for a game like this, and you not, you played a game against this team pretty recently? Yeah, so we we tried it. We broke down the film. <laughs> our coaches broke down the film. Payne, Hayes, and. <clears throat> and, and Peters, um, we all broke down the film and we tried to make adjustments where we could. Um, and so really, we stuck to really, we'll do what we do program. And we make minor adjustments. We want we don't want to throw out everything we're doing just because we didn't have success. We got to have what we call some stick to itness. Uh, and that's the, that's the mental fortitude. I don't know, I'm getting ready to ask these guys, what do you think mental toughness is? All right, it's the, it's the uh, psychological heart, it's the all physical adversities. And we knew it was going to be a tough fight, but we have got to stick to it. The laws of learning, you teach something, you're able to explain it, you're able to demonstrate it. Uh, and then once you're able to correct it, you repeat that behavior. And so that's, what we, that's where we're at now. We're trying to repeat the behavior <clears throat> that would allow us to have success. And um, 
and this is just, a, I guess, a byproduct of what can happen. But now I challenge our guys, how are we going to handle the next day and how are we going to build on being consistent? That's the next challenge, being consistent with our effort and our execution. Talk about Colin Moore tonight, seven points, 11 boards, four steals. Colin, Colin Moore is a, is a warrior, man. He pre provides hell and havoc in practice. Uh, he's just getting into the floor of things. Of course, everyone knows he's he's back off an injury. Uh, <clears throat> and the more he gets comfortable, comfortable, the more I think he's going to add to the dynamic of this team. Uh, he plays with so much aggression, uh, which is fine. I do not want to snuff that aggression out. We got to get him to understand uh, position. Uh, and time <clears throat> and timing, uh, but he's a he's a well of a ball player. And I'm I'm looking forward to continue to see his progress. Just talk about Jermaine's game. I'm looking at the stat sheet. I don't think there's a line in here that he doesn't have a number in. Stat stuffer. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. What you got to say to that? No. Eighteen point seven board. I mean, a lot of some, a little of some tonight. I just I just play hard and play my game. And just I really wanted to win. So like. Me and Brennan, we just really connect each other because we hate losing. So we're going to just do our all, so do our all to win and everything. And Coach gives us a great game plan. We just follow the game plan. So that was, that was turned out. What was working down low defensively? Because Saversoff, 2 of 10, uh, Curtis, 2 of 7. And it seemed like even when they're trying hot mismatches size wise, your guys are still defending. Yeah, we, we try to play as physically as sound as possible. All right. And one thing you're going to find when you play Georgia State um, is you're going to have your hands full in terms of the physicality. Uh, so our guys are bred that way, we practice that way, and so we find that it's carrying over into games. And um, I mean, that's that's we, we practice our physicality every single day. We have a segment in practice defensive habits, and that's every single day, because you are what you habitually do, and the habits you create will allow you to have success. And so we got to make sure our habits are sound. Brendan, what you think in that second um, if you go back uh, after both free throws, I was just saying boom, like game over, because I already knew, I already knew what time it was. Um, yeah, after the second one, after the second one hit, I knew we won that. Put him to sleep. not a whole lot of people, but everybody played a lot of time. Is that just by design or by the way the game played out? How would you? What's your question again? You, you stuck with five guys. Oh, yeah. Most of the night. Yeah, it, they, I stuck with, I thought, the guys that gave us the <clears throat> greatest opportunity to, to win this game. Uh, that number was just called tonight. I think we're going to need all our guys, you know, on, on the bench that <clears throat> didn't, find, didn't find a lot of minutes tonight. Um, but as we move forward, we're going to have to have all 12, 13 guys we have on our, on our team. <clears throat> to con uh, to continue this um to continue this ride and continue this fight, uh, that was just tonight. That's what I felt <clears throat> give the, the, the uh, give us the, our best opportunity.